Guys, how you doing? Super quick update video, just to let you guys know what's been going on. So, here I have bought a Maverick touring car from eBay. And the plan with this thing is, guys, is, is to turn it into a burnout machine. You know, a bit like an Aussie RC, not an Aussie RC, sorry. A bit like an Aussie burnout car. So, I'm using this as a base, temp scale touring car. I want to fit a massive motor. This is out of a um, armor, something or other, so a one eighth scale motor. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this motor or not, but I might stick it in there to start with. Six cell ESC. And we're going to run this thing on 6S. And the idea is, is to make it rear wheel drive. So I'm going to take this centre drive shaft out. We're going to put a disc brake on the front and have an extra servo so I can lock up the front wheels. And then I can get all different body shells, you know, like a hot rod body or like a Dodge Challenger body. You know, any for anything else, and just make this thing into like one of them Aussie burnout cars. And if this thing doesn't hold the power, I don't know how well this gearbox is going to last. What I was planning on doing is taking out the insides of this thing here, use like the rear diff and the centre diff mount and the engine mount and everything, and put all that onto this thing here. And then this, that will definitely take the power. So let me know what you reckon to that, guys. I know a lot of you guys, you love the old RC burnout videos. They're always great fun to make. And if I've got a dedicated burnout RC car, I reckon that would be a good laugh. All right, so a bit dark in here, but this is my mining rig, and I've turned it off. It's barely making any coins at all at the moment. I mean, if I was to sell the coins that is mining, if you take electricity into account, I'd be roughly making sort of 70 pounds 70 pounds a month at the moment and if you take in the wear and tear of all the cards and everything it doesn't seem worth it so what i'm going to do i'm going to bring it back in here in the winter in the winter it lives under there at least then i'm heating up the room and i'm not just wasting the energy just warming up the workshop out there when it's summer anyway so in the winter it's going to be going back on again but for now uh, it doesn't it doesn't really doesn't seem worth keeping it on also there's a new skate park in Letchworth. well it's not new it's been there for a while but i've never been there yet so we're going to check that out so I've just re-glued these Traxxas X-Max tyres, they were all coming off the rims, the rims were all smashed, I've just put some new rims on there, and we're going to be putting that back onto this X-Max here, and hopefully, hopefully it's going to be reliable when we hit that new skate park. Also, we've got a few silly videos coming up, we're going to put like 100,000 RPM through this thing, and see what happens, we've got some little toy grade RCs down here, we're going to have a little bit of fun with, so over here I've got my slash, waiting on parts for that at the moment, so we need to get that back on the road again. Not too bad, just a front diff cover really, more than anything. This thing, we're going to build a little rolling road and then just overspeed this thing to like a crazy, crazy RPM and, well, just see what happens really. Just for fun, because why not, hey? The TRX4 needs a new motor. I mean, I burnt this out the other day doing speed runs. This is one that I burnt out ages ago. So I tried to make a good one out of the two, but they're actually different. This was supposed to be a crawler motor. Here's... Here's the box that it came in. It says crawler edition. And it actually, I think they put the wrong motor in the box because this isn't the crawler motor. I thought it was. Maybe they just had it a different color or something. But if you actually put it next to a proper crawler motor, I'll line that up there. As you can see, look, it's longer. And the same with the magnet, look. This is the one out of the green motor. This is the one out of the slate motor. And you can quite obviously tell the difference there. And as you can see, guys, these things got hot and the magnets kind of exploded. So yeah, don't run it on 6S if you care about your motor. I'm not really that bothered. I like, I just like having a bit of fun. So you've got to expect the odd thing to kind of blow up every now and then. Also, under here, we've got one of these, oh, what's it called, WL Hobbies. But someone keeps saying, do a review of it, do an unboxing. So here it is. Here we've got some more pump-up tyres. These are like 2.2s. So we're still going to have to take them apart, do a little play with them. Also... Also, 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 I'm probably going to buy this radio here. Because it's got a toggle switch here. And actually, Peter put me onto this. And I put a link to his channel down below. And he actually made his TRX4 four-wheel steer. And you can use that toggle switch here to actually steer the wheels on the back. So that's pretty cool. So what, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it to my TRX4. But... I want to do it to my Wheelie King. It's already rear wheel steer. It's kind of like a semi-scale monster truck. So in the winter, I can take it next door and just do a little bit of an indoor freestyle and still get a little bit of a RC fix in the winter. And if I can have it on a proper, like a rear wheel steer on there, that's going to be a lot better than what I'm using here. I'm not used to the stick radios anymore. So basically, hold on, let me put it down. 
this is throttle, brake, this is the rear steer, and this is the front steer. But because I'm now so used to using these wheels, it would be a lot easier if I can just steer with this wheel here and have a little switch here for left and right for the rear wheel steer. That would be so much better. So what else is going on? People keep saying, take out the Savage Nitro. Soon guys, that's gonna come out. I haven't got a date yet. I really do need to get it out. It does work, it's all ready to go. Pretty much, I've just got to chuck some fuel in there and that'll be good to go. I've also, I've also got this Mad Force Cruiser here. This is Nitro, so I might take that out as well. Also, this whole thing here actually does need rebuilding. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it yet. I still want to do a bit more water driving, you know, and then rebuild it all, make it all nice again. But it's pretty tired now. A lot of water's got in. You know, oh! It's uh, not the freest of things anymore. I think some of the bearings are seized up. This server here is twitching. Uh, the diff locks are kind of all seized up, so we've got to kind of take this whole thing apart and have a little look what's going on with everything. Also, a little bit about myself, I'm going to give it a go of being a vegan, see what that's all about. I've been vegetarian since I've been 10 years old, and I've been doing a little bit of research into the old vegan stuff, and apparently, if if you're vegan, it's a lot healthier, you, you, you get less heart attacks, almost, almost immune to getting cancers, so many other health benefits, so I thought... Why not? Let's give it a go. Also, it's supposed to motivate you a lot more for work. You're supposed to feel a lot more energetic. You're supposed to sleep better. So I'm going to experiment. I'm going to give it a go for a few weeks. See how I feel. If I feel good, I'll keep it up. If it makes no difference, then I'm always going to be a vegetarian. I hate the smell of meat. I can't stand it. I hate the smell of it. And it comes down to when... Uh, I never really liked the idea of it, but I did sort of eat the odd burger. Until when I had my last job that I quit 10 years ago... I used to make machines for food factories. So we used to make all the machines on site, and then I had to go to one of the meat factories and actually fit these machines in. And oh my God, guys, it was horrendous. The smell in there was disgusting. All the stuff laying around, all the smells in the hair, all the blood and lard and guts and everything over the floor. It was physically gut-wrenching. It was disgusting. And ever since that day, I've, I've not touched any meat. And I, and I physically cannot, cannot stand the smell, the smell of it. Like, physically can't. It makes me feel disgusting. And then, also to top it off, I used to be a truck driver as well. I used to drive an NHS truck. I used to go around London delivering stuff to hospitals. You know, to like Great Ormond Street, UCH, a lot of the other big hospitals. What everyone used to do at Great Ormond Street is the kids' hospital in London. And what the drivers used to do, they used to pull up in the unloading bay and you need to go for a wee. So I used to go behind the bins, go for a wee, unload your stuff, on you go. But one guy got sacked, he got, he got fired for doing that. So he said you have to use the toilet. But because we was round the back where the loading bay was, there was no toilets. So I sort of rang up the office, I was like, where's the toilets? I've got to go, I've got to go. And they're like, well, you've got to go down where the porters go. And if you look under Great Ormond Street, there's literally tunnels after tunnels after tunnels. God knows how many miles of tunnels under there. It's something out of a zombie film. You've got all these dimly lit lights all the way along, and there's corridors and corridors, and it goes down and down and down. It's spooky, guys, it is spooky. And I was looking, looking for the toilet, and I, I just couldn't find it. Couldn't find where it was. I got lost, and I ended up in the morgue. And I'll tell you what, guys, the smell in that morgue smelled exactly the same as bacon. Identical. It smelled exactly the same. And after doing a little bit of research, pig meat is actually, they reckon, exactly the same as human meat. Disgusting, guys. So, yeah, I've been a vegetarian since I was 10 years old. Definitely, 100%, I'm never going to go back. Vegan thing, I'm going to see if it benefits me health-wise. If it does, if I feel better, if I feel more energetic, if I've got more get up, get up and go, if I feel healthier in general, I'll keep it up. If it makes no difference, then I'll just carry on drinking milk and eating eggs and all that sort of stuff. All right, guys, that's it for this video. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified. See you soon, guys. Bye.